Hey guys, and welcome back to another Emergent Fall tutorial. In today's video, we're again advancing upon our third person shooter minigame, and today we're going to be adding in the ability to have a maximum amount or a cap of the amount of enemies spawned in at one time. So, as you know, previously we've just had it, so there's going to be always spawning enemies, and it gets quite a lot quite fast purely because of how many have been spawning in. However, what if you want to have it so there's a maximum amount that will ever be on screen at once? So, once you kill them, they'll respawn again, but there won't be too many at once. And we're going to be doing that today and what we can also do is maybe every single minute or every five minutes that maximum amount will increase so it does still get harder for the player so let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today so you can see we have the enemies spawning in here and at the moment i set it to a cap and a limit of 15 just because i thought that would be a good amount to have so you can see they are going to spawn in as you can see now until we reach 15 and now they're not going to spawn anymore they're going to stop and now what I can do is I can kill them and then once I kill some they should spawn in again to reach the limit of 15 once again. Let me just get through these lot and kill them all and then we can see they should start spawning in again. As you can see one of them is spawning in this spawner down here. So I have three spawners, one there, one over there and one back here as well. And this one is just spawning in one so that's why that one is going in because that's the amount I'm killing. But as you can see they spawned in all three there so this is working perfectly how we want and again we can change how many do spawn, change the rate they spawn at and also keep on increasing it if we wanted to. So this is what we made today, so without further ado let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up a system of how we can actually count how many enemies are alive, so how many we have currently spawned in that haven't been killed. So to do that I'm going to be doing that inside of the game mode blueprint. Now to find out which game mode you're using you can go to the world settings here. If you don't have that go to window and then click on world settings and it should open up take you to it. Then go to game mode and game mode override and hit the magnifying glass there to take you to the game mode you are using. If you haven't got anything in there just select one from this drop down menu here. I'd recommend using the third person game mode, first person game mode, whichever one it is which you're using. And then open that up straight away. In here we don't need to do much we just need to create two simple functions and two simple variables. So let's do the variables first. I'm going to hit the plus variable here naming this one enemies alive or enemies spawned anything like that and I'm going to change this to be an integer so it's a whole numerical value then we can add another variable naming this to max enemies or maximum amount of enemies and like that keeping that also as an integer and this way we can see how many enemies we have alive and how many enemies we want to have alive at once so let's compile and save that now we're going to right click and add a custom event naming this one increase enemies or spawn enemies anything like that and we're going to get enemies alive and add an increment so get an increment int there and that's simply all we need to do for it when we call the function of increase enemies we're going to get the amount of enemies alive add one to it and then set it and then for decreasing enemies we're going to do the opposite so when we kill an enemy we're going to do the opposite of this so right click add a custom event naming this one decrease enemies or kill enemy anything like that and we're again going to get enemies alive and this one gets a decrement or decrement integer so that is all we need to do. So when we spawn in an enemy, we're going to call this custom event here and we're going to add one enemy to the amount of enemies alive. And when we kill an enemy, we're going to call this function here and take one away from the amount of enemies that are currently alive. So I hope that makes sense. Very simple thing we need to do. And this is all we need to do to keep a track of how many enemies are currently alive. So we're going to compile, save, and we can close that. It's as simple as that. Now we're going to actually use these to keep track. And I'm going to do that inside of the enemy BP. So for me, that's content game files enemy enemy bp opening that up here first one i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the event begin play as that is when we're spawning in the enemy so event begin play i can just do that at the end of this code so i'm going to cast to my game mode which for me is the third person game mode just use the one which you just used and object is obviously going to be get game mode now all we need to do is as third person game mode is increase enemies so now on event begin play, i.e. when this blueprint is spawned in the level, we're going to cast to our game mode and increase the amount of enemies by 1 because again that's the function we just set up. It's simple as that. Now I'm going to copy the cast to third person game mode and go to where we're killing the enemy as that is when we want to decrease the amount. So again that's going to be in my damage code. True here, that's where all of this code here is for killing the enemy. I'm going to hit Control v to paste at the end of the code, connecting it in there, so out of the spawn actor for the ammo crate. And as third person game mode, this time we're going to decrease the enemies. So when we spawn an enemy, we're going to increase it. When we kill the enemy, we're going to decrease it. Now one other thing we need to do is you can see this is only going to fire this off with a 45% chance, because that is spawning in the ammo. 
So simply, we're just going to come out of false of this branch as well, and also connect that into the cast to third person gear mode. So whenever we kill the enemy, we are going to decrease the amount of enemies alive by one. Compile and save, and that's all we need to do for keeping track of how many enemies we currently have alive in the level. And that way we can now see if we want to continue spawning in more or not. So we're going to close that as well, and the final step now is to open up the enemy spawner BP, which I have here. And what we're going to do is go to event begin play, which we have here. So again, for me, that is up here, event begin play, I've already moved it out and added in a sequence. So if you don't have a sequence, hold on S and left click to get one. Then zero going into the branch there, or the code you already have. And then one is going to go into cast to third person game mode. Or again, just the game mode you're using. And again, obviously the object is get game mode. And what we're going to do with this is right click add third person game mode, promote it to variable, naming this game mode reference. So we can now easily access the game mode whenever we want and need to, which we're going to do to access the amount of enemies currently alive. So we're going to compile, save that, and now we're going to go down to the spawn enemy function here. What we're going to do is go to the completed of the for loop. After the delay, we have the code for spawning any enemy. Before we do that, we want to actually make sure we do want to spawn it in. So I'm going to select that and just move it out so we can put in a branch to check something before this. So let's hold down B, left click to get a branch. True is going to go into spawn enemy. False is going to go into something else, which I'll do in a second. And the condition of this branch is going to be if we want to continue spawning in enemies. So to find that out, we're going to get our game mode reference. Out of this, we're going to get enemies alive and also get max enemies. And what we want to do with this is check to see if the enemy is alive, so come out of enemies alive, and see if it is less than the max enemies. So if enemies alive is less than max enemies, connect that into the branch there, so that's the condition. So if that is true, then spawn an enemy, because obviously we don't have the maximum amount we want, so continue spawning. But if it isn't less, so we do have the maximum amount we want, then we don't want to spawn, and we want to check to see when we should then next spawn. So to check, what we're going to do is right click and add a custom event, naming this check should spawn, or just should spawn, or anything along those lines. And out of this, I'm going to hold down the left click to get delay. And the duration of this delay is I'm going to do the spawn delay. So then even when we want to check, it's still going to have the same spawn delay which we want to have, just to again make it nice and evenly spaced out. And then what I'm going to do is select the game mode reference, enemies alive, less than, and the branch. So that check that we just did there, control C and control V as we want to double check it again here. Now the reason we're checking it again is because this event here is going to be a loop. So we're going to be constantly checking this until we want to then continue on spawning. So true, we're going to spawn the enemies. So we're going to select this function we have with all the inputs as well. Hit control C and hit control V down here. So then if we do have enough, we're going to spawn the enemy. And that's obviously then going to break this loop, spawn the enemy, move it all the way back up here. And then again, check to see if we want to continue spawning. If we do, great. If we don't want to spawn the enemy, we want to do this loop, don't we? So false is going to call function should spawn like so. And to make this an actual loop, false of this branch is also going to be should spawn just like it is up there. So it should spawn like that. So again, what we're doing is we're spawning in the enemies, and if there's not the maximum amount, we're going to continue spawning. But if there is the maximum amount of enemies, we're going to check to see when we should next spawn by throwing in the spawn delay, then checking again to see what the enemies alive is to see if we don't have enough or we do have enough. And if we don't have enough, we're going to spawn in. And if we do, then we're going to just do this check again. So this is now working, and that's the code now done for us to be able to have a maximum amount of enemies spawned in at one time. And then when we go below that amount, they're going to continue spawning in again continually for as long as we want. So we're going to compile and save that. But let's say we also want to make it harder for the player, so every minute, let's say, it's going to increase the amount of max enemies that can be alive. So let's do that. So we're going to close this, and we're actually going to go back into the game mode blueprint once again. So open that up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in another custom event here, naming this increase limit or increase max amount or anything along those lines. And what I'm going to do is just hold down D, left click to get a delay, connecting the duration into the increase limit, and I'm going to leave it named as duration. Then completed, we're going to get max enemies, and we're going to get a multiplication, so an integer multiplied by a float. That's what I want, not integer times integer, but integer times float. And I'm going to increase it by 1.1. The reason I'm doing that is so every time it's going to increase by 10%. 
that might be too high for you, it might be too low for you, or you can just add a setter on each time by doing integer plus integer. Do whatever you want, just to make it harder every single time, I'm going to increase it by 10%, so obviously the more enemies there are, the higher the amount is going to increase by. But you can see this now outputs a float. We want it to be an integer. So what we're going to do is we're going to just simply truncate it to turn it back into an integer, so it's just going to round it down to close to zero. So if this ends up being 20.1, it will just go to 20. And then we're going to set max enemies once again, being the return value of that. So again, every time we call this increase limit function, which for me, for the purpose of the tutorial, is going to be every 10 seconds, but it could be every minute or every five minutes for you, whatever you want, it's going to increase the maximum amount of enemies is by 10%, i.e. 1.1. But again, do this however you like. So what we need to do to actually call this is hold down P, left click to get event begin play. I'm simply just going to call function increase limit. Now the duration, again, I'm going to set to be 10. And remember, this is 10 seconds. What you could also do maybe is connect in the bottom value of the multiplication into there and name this increase amount. So how much it's going to increase by. So again, for me, that's 1.1. So make sure that you remember that is a multiplier. You don't have to do that if you don't want. Again, it's just different ways of making it a bit more efficient. So you can call this differently each time or allow the player to set it up. Anything that you want, really. But this is what we're doing. So again, it's going to increase by 10% every 10 seconds. So let's hit play and test this out. I'm not going to kill any for the moment. I'm just going to watch it happen. So as you can see, there will be a maximum amount which will spawn in. And then after 10 seconds, that will increase by 10% and more will continue spawning in. Obviously, that's again going to be quite a lot for me. So after I've showed you that working, I might remove it just to show it that it is working. However, you can see no more are actually spawning in. So let's have a look at why that is. And actually, I've just remembered what it will be is I don't think we set the max enemies. No, we didn't. We set the max enemies to zero. So no more going to spawn in. So I'm going to set it to be 10. So the max that will spawn in at one time is 10. And again, that's going to increase. So make sure to do that. It's a very important step. Let's hit play. You can see that we have three, four, five, six more should spawn in seven and they're going to keep spawning in until we reach the maximum amount that we want and again increasing by 10 percent every 10 seconds as well which again you can change to be whatever you like and whatever you want it to be so also we have three up there as well actually which will have counted towards the 10 which we had there so you can see as well when i kill them what's going to happen is more will spawn in after we've reached a limit we kill them so the amount against the limit then decreases so we have a chance for more to continue spawning in as well so i think that'll be it for this video so we've done everything we want to do we've set it up so we have a maximum amount of enemies that can spawn so we have a limit of how many will be on screen and in the game and in the level at once and we can also increase this limit every so on if you wanted to as well which again obviously just makes it harder for the player so the game doesn't just go on forever and ever so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one